Hi everyone, I'm Pocketful of Posies, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making Buddy Blue for the Rainbow Bright Custom Series. He's said to be athletic and friendly, and tries to keep the peace. So without further ado, let's get started. For this custom, I'm going to recycle this Disney Animator Mini Ariel Head with an Obitsu body. This is one of my earliest customs, where I was trying to make Melody, but in hindsight the face is much too young for her. So I'm going to reuse it for a better fitting custom. Let's start by cutting off the hair. The head has a bunch of leftover stuff from the original hair. I use acetone to remove the paint. I was just using acrylic paint when I was starting out with customs because I was too scared to use Mr. Super Clear at the time. For the hair, I'm going to reroute with some yarn. This is from a pack of assorted colors I found at my local fabric store. I take apart the strands and do the reroute like always. The nice thing about yarn reroutes is that they're thick enough so you don't have to cover every single hole. I use a flat iron to straighten the hair. Just do it little bits at a time. Then I use some eyebrow trimmers to style the hair. Now I can start with the face up. I normally prefer natural looks on my face ups, and that goes double for young boy characters like Buddy. I also tried using my white pastels to build up the sclera. Now I begin to sketch the face and eyes. Thank you. 
The face is getting too shiny again, so I use some pan pastels to sort that out. The next step is to build up the colors. I use black for the eyelids and to help create some general depth. and some Pearl X powders to give the eyes a magical shine. Finally, I add the shines. And that's it for the face up. For the outfit, I start off with some leggings and paint some white stripes on them. I do this with the rest of the pieces too. Then I just sew them all together. 
Buddy has some sleeve bits or whatever they're called that I wasn't sure how to recreate. I ultimately settled on using the sleeve puff pattern I normally use for them. The socks will need some stripes too. And I make a sweatband. To make the shoes, I'm going to make a mold out of paper mache. I also use polymer clay to sculpt the details, though I lost the footage for those. The belt was made entirely with craft foam and paint. I think Buddy is the only color kid whose belt star is not actually in his signature color. I measure the belt around his waist to figure out where to apply the Velcros. For Champ the Sprite, I make a wireframe and use epoxy sculpt for the feet. I then sew the arm pieces together while waiting for the clay to dry. Then I paint stripes on the leg pieces. After the limbs are sewn on, I place the body pieces right sides together and sew. I leave certain places alone so I can take off the body and reattach them and close the stitches in the right place. I can then place stuffing in through the back and sew it closed. Then I make the belt and star pocket. So stars on the antenna to complete the sprite and the custom. This custom came out easier than I thought it would. I was sure I'd have no idea how to do the outfit. Funny how things turn out sometimes. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye!